Hi Aries, welcome back. We're going to get into this. Going to be a general reading for Aries. Let's see what you got going on, Aries. Spirit. If you're new here, if you're a cross watcher, my name is Ninja and I will be your reader. First card out we have is the Judgment card. Which is good. Guys, don't forget to click on that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you're new here, just know that this is an all Aries channel. So we have the judgment card. It's the first card. Sounds like somebody's going to need to make a judgment, possibly about a relationship, okay? Somebody's going to have to go ahead and uh, make a decision about something here. Oops. Okay, see what else comes out. Oop, we have a flipper. Oh, somebody's feeling defensive. Yes, this is about... Okay. You got an ex who is around your energy and this person is feeling defensive. Okay, either you have an ex that's around your energy, Aries, and this person is acting like... <laughs> they're acting like you're attacking them. They act, they're acting as though you're the villain here. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing. Like, they're acting like you're the villain. You're the bad guy. You did something to them, right? That's what I'm getting. Uh, Maybe they had to leave. Maybe you kicked them out, right? You made a decision. You're like, okay, I'm done with your crap. <laughs> and this person's like, oh, you're the bad guy. Well, that's what they're doing. Okay. I probably, probably had to leave. You probably kicked them out. Now that person's feeling isolated. This is your ex. Your ex is feeling very isolated here. Let me turn the camera. I don't know why y'all are looking at my leg. What is... Sorry, guys. Hold on. It's not working. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Sorry. I'm gonna... Give me one second. I'm gonna flip it around and see... Okay, there it goes. Sorry, you were looking at my leg. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay. I guess your person just doesn't want you to hear this reading. Well, you can hear it, but they don't want you to see it. They're like, no, don't let her see this reading. <laughs> yeah, your person is being very defensive. They're acting like they're ha they have to be defensive. They act they're acting like, though, as though you are the one that's attacking them. And they're angry because they're feeling isolated here. And that's what I'm getting. They're feeling isolated. They're feeling alone without you. And I feel like you had to make a decision here to get away from this person. You didn't have no choice. That person that you were dealing with, of course, they're so... They're hard-headed, right? You're dealing with somebody who's very hard-headed. Somebody who doesn't want to take anybody's uh, opinion, you know? They didn't want to hear what you had to say there. That's what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. I see this person is feeling very competitive with you. So maybe you are doing better off without them. You know, and that's what I'm looking at, Aries. Like, you, you're doing so much better without them. You are not... You're not going after them. You're not asking them for help. You're not asking them for money. You're not asking them for anything. You know? And that person's like, oh. That, you know, they're not, they weren't expecting that. They were kind of expecting you to be calling them and, you know, talking to them. You know, at least communicating, right? But I don't feel, I feel like you're not communicating with this person at all. Uh huh. Huh. So, you push this person away. That's what I'm hearing. You push this person away. You stood your ground against this person. You, you're the one that stood up for yourself against this person. Now, this person is very focused on money, okay? Money seems to be the big issue. They're watching you, Aries. They're watching you and they're watching what you're doing with your money. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. They're, they want to know what you're doing with your money. Something about what you're doing with your money is very interesting to this person. Like I said, I feel like right here, I, I say feel, but what I'm seeing right here is that um, they're, they're acting as though, like, really what I'm hearing is like, as though you couldn't make it by yourself, okay? Like, you wouldn't be able to make it by yourself without them. 
And I feel like that is that it's their competitive side to them. Like this person's full of ego. That's what it is. They're full of ego. Look what we have. You're just going off on your own. Yes, that's what's at the bottom of the deck. You're going off on your own. You know what I mean? And you have the world card at the bottom of the deck. That's good stuff. Really good stuff. You are you don't need this person. You're going to have full success without this person in your way. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm hearing. You're building. You're building. Like, you're working without this person. You don't need them around. You have released toxicity out of your life. That's why they're so angry. Okay, so you have a you're dealing with a mouth um what's the word? A miser. Okay, a miser. I believe that's the proper word. Somebody who's very cheap. Um, you know, they very cheap and very selfish. Very um not that they're cheap. There's nothing wrong with being cheap, right? There's nothing wrong with uh using coupons or saving money or anything like that no what i mean what i mean by this is that uh, i'm not sure if i'm using the right word i'm prob probably am not uh what i mean is that this person was, it was it's like y'all would go out to eat and they never would bring their wallet you know that kind of thing like you know um you know they would get paid on friday but by monday they're asking you if you can pass them a 20 for gas or something like that like yeah, like their money was always gone. This maybe this person was using some kind of substance or something, right? Maybe they're drinking too much. Something like that. They were spending their money in other ways and and when they came to you, they were coming to you for money. But what I'm seeing here is that they're they're telling people that you know, like you wouldn't have ever been able to make it without them, but yet you are, you know? You're doing it fine without them. And they're like, it's making them angry. Because, you know, actions speak louder than words. You know? Actions speak louder than words. And they really thought that your world was going to crumble. You know? Your world was going to... Your world was supposed to fall apart. You were supposed to, you know, be down and out without them. You were supposed to fall apart basically that's what i'm seeing here like you were supposed to fall apart this person is still watching you because they feel like they have unfinished business with you they're not over you no this person is not over you at all and you're and I, i'm gonna tell you something their ego i think your person has a very huge ego the fact that you look good because i'm seeing here that you look really good you're looking good. You're getting some color in your cheeks. Uh-huh. You might look good in green. Green might be your color or red might be your color. You're looking good. And that's another thing that is bothering this person because it's coming out that you're looking good. And it's not just you're looking good, but you're excited about something. You're excited about your next moves. Because these next moves... It, it's like inside of yourself, Aries, you know that this is where you're supposed to be or this is where where you're going is where you're supposed to be. It's your destiny and it really is. It's going to help you financially. So something that you're doing, maybe you are moving, maybe you're like packing up and leaving. I'm not sure. But whatever these moves are, you are definitely making some kind of moves. And it's heading you straight towards your destiny here. To your success. And you're going to build. Yes. So you uh, haven't made it yet, but you're going to. That's what I'm That's what I'm seeing here. Maybe you haven't uh, gotten where you're supposed to be at yet. Maybe right now, you know, you're, you started something new here. And maybe you are, you know, just at the beginning and you're just, you know, like making a couple of hundred dollars or something, right? But eventually, keep, you keep going in this direction, you're going to make a lot of money. It's 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 the building blocks. You're That's what I'm seeing here. You're in the building blocks of something. And you're letting go of toxicity. You might have changed your habits too, which is also going to contribute to your success. Mm-hmm. 
And you know what? This person over here is watching you. You have an ex that's watching you. Your ex could be a Libra, a Capricorn. That's what I'm getting. Or they might have that in their chart. Maybe a Cancer. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Um, but they don't have to, guys. They can have any anything in their chart. I I also see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Um, the thing is, is that the direction that you're going in, yes, this is meant for you. You might feel like you're having to sneak away from this person. Like the things that you're doing, you might feel like you have to keep it on the down low away from this person because you know if this person knew what you were up to, and this is for one of you, you know, if you, if that person knew what you had going on, you know that that person would try to destroy it in, in some way, shape, or form, or they would be coming at you wanting money or something. It's like you know that. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. Especially with that four of uh, a potions there. Um, so with the four of potions, guys, yes, that person would be like all over it. Mm hmm. Hmm. You might also be contemplating something at this time. That's what I'm seeing. You might be in the middle of contemplating something. Something that something that is going to okay. So I feel like you're in the middle of this. You you might have started something, yes, but you're you're still contemplating about doing something here, huh? I'm gonna tell you something. This person's not happy. Okay, right here. Look at these two. That person is not happy. They're not happy because it, of you're going down a road of success. So, then, so that person is like trying to dig their heels in and try to stop you. Because they, they feel so competitive towards you. And for you to be having success, it makes them look bad. Uh-huh. That's what it is, Aries. You got somebody that, may, that, that person, your ex, yeah, they're not over you, first of all. Second of all, they don't want you to be doing better without them. That's what it is. It's without them. Because they're not with you. You're, you know, you're done with them. You made a decision, especially about a career, okay? Uh... With the judgment card, it's giving me like um very strong decision about career. Relationship too, but it's mostly about career. So it makes me feel like you've done something so so drastic, you know, that this person is angry about. Because they know that you're up to something. They know that you have it in you to do something. Especially with the queen of candles coming out. That's you. This is the energy that you're in right now. Which is, I think it's just, it's wonderful. Because it means that your confidence is growing. So whatever you're doing, your confidence is growing. And that's what is going to help you start this new adventure. Whatever this is that you're so excited about. It's showing on you. You're looking good. You're standing and you're sitting in your power. You're standing in your power. You see? And you're becoming more and more attractive. Your face is being lifted. I, I see in my third eye, like your face is being lifted. You're smiling more. And you're 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 becoming more and more attractive. People notice these things. People notice when you're sad, you know, and you're, you know, when you're sad, you're, you're, you know, you have a, you know, a lot of people when they're, when they're not smiling and they're just not happy, they frown, right? You're not frowning anymore. Okay. Maybe you were frowning for a while, but you're not frowning anymore. And this person is noticing that you're not frowning in, anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You're not frowning. You're fine. You're doing good. As a matter of fact, you're doing really good without them. And they hate it. 
They hate it. This is what's bothering this person. You're having this fresh new start. It's like the world has... It's like you were carrying all this stress and and the world was on your shoulders and you were going through all that nonsense with this person and now you're you're ready for a new adventure and you're going for it good for you i'm gonna go ahead and leave this here i'm not gonna dig any deeper uh i think spirit wants you to know to keep going because this person it's their competitive nature okay as long as you keep this person uh around you it, they're going to compete with you whether you even if you were still with this person i could still see them wanting to be competitive with you so like for instance you know if you came home when you were with this person right and you came home and you're like oh well, yeah I, I got a raise or something like that they would not be happy about it it's not it's, it's just they always have to be the winner they always have to have the upper hand you know, especially in a relationship, like they always have to have the upper hand here. And of course, you making more money, you know, I don't know if you were making more than them or what, but I could see them getting upset about it. Okay. And there's people like that, you know, it's like they don't, they don't understand the word we, you know, W E is not in their vocabulary. You know, it's always a, it's always I and you, and that's it. There's never a we. So you know, you bringing home more money, it's more like you. You're bringing home more money, not we're gonna have more money. You know what I mean? So basically, you were in a partnership that wasn't really a partnership, okay? And that's what I'm hearing. Like, it wasn't really a partnership. You know, you weren't coming together and putting your your money together, you know, and I, I feel like that's why the, the miser is coming out. Like that person is just holding on to all the money for themselves. You know, it's kind of like they just felt like you didn't deserve anything, you know. You know what I just realized? Oh, my goodness. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Oh. Man, sometimes... You know what I mean? Sometimes you can see things and, and, and you don't see it. You know, you have to like really look hard at the crystal ball here and it, it comes out, you know? Huh. This person, yes. Look, this person was never supportive and they're never going to be supportive. But I'm going to tell you something. They try to lie and say that they are. Uh, I'm seeing 444, right? On the table. You, that you're, you're being guided by angels here. Yes you are. Yeah, That's what I said. This is your destiny. You're being guided by, by angels. You have angels around you Aries. That are guiding you here. Uh huh. Yes you do. That your angels are guiding you to this new beginning for yourself. This fresh new start that you're, you're planning on what you're probably still in the middle of contemplating about or maybe you're in the middle of but yes your angels are here to guide you into that direction they want you to have this success they want to see you building yes toward your stability here yes that's what i'm getting all right aries i'm going to leave this here but yes you have your guardian angels that are watching you Yes, they are. All right, guys. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Sub subscribe if you haven't. Um, it does look like you are getting, uh, I will say this. From what I can tell, you are getting the best kind of revenge on this ex of yours. <laughs> you know, the best kind of revenge is when you are doing better. Trust me. That's like the best revenge. When you don't need them and they're like, ugh. You know, looking at you like, oh, you don't need me. You know, that's like the best kind of revenge. Now, I'm not seeing that you are trying to get revenge or anything, right? I'm not seeing that in the cards. But, um, but boy, are you getting revenge or what? <laughs> You're looking good. You're doing good. And you have your guardian angels guiding you into your future. So that is awesome. Anyways, Aries, thank you for joining me. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Catch me in the next one. I also see that you're protected there with the 444 coming out, guys. So just remember that. Yes. Ooh. Look what came out. 
Yeah, you are. Things are being revealed to you. You are on the right track. That's what spirit wants you to know. You are on the right track. All right, guys. Y'all take care and catch me in the next one. Bye-bye.